Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is July 11th, uh, 2017, and uh, it's absolutely a freaking gorgeous day. As you can see, the sun shining behind me. Got some nice puffy clouds, but uh, it's been pretty sunny, very warm today. It's been a nice day. Okay, so um, I always give you the forecast first, and I don't know why I do that, I just do. But uh, <laughs> just letting you know how our weather is up here in upstate New York. But um, so. I wanted to do a video today, and I know there's been, I mean, I did a couple of videos about Yellowstone and, you know, all that type of thing, but let's talk about something that's really something that we need to keep an eye on, okay? Something that is really something that uh, is going to be affecting us for a long, long time, all right? So let's go back, and I wrote myself a bunch of notes here so I didn't forget anything, so... Um, Let's go back to March 11th in 2011. So what happens March 11th, 2007? There's a massive earthquake in Japan. Uh, according to people, if you ask, it's a, a 6.9 all the way up to a 9.0. Well, they have lots of earthquakes in Japan. Yes, they do. And this one caused a big tsunami that uh, killed a lot of people, as everybody remembers. But it also affected something else, um, the Fukushima uh, nuclear plant. Uh, you know the substation there and they had three nuclear reactors that uh, things got messed up and all three of those nuclear reactors melted down okay so you don't hear a lot about that anymore I mean you know you know Ed it's freaking better than six years ago you know six years and three months it's you know it's ancient history well the problem is they're dumping 300 tons of radioactive water per day into the ocean okay now eh, you know add the oceans a great big huge thing what's the big deal a little bit of radiation yada 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 the problem is they're saying to fix Fukushima it's going to take 40 years and 300 billion dollars to fix the problem so it's for the next 40 years we dump 300 tons of radioactive water in the ocean every day okay um, that's an issue guys and I don't care what anybody says um, you know the Japanese government is not being forthright with everybody and coming up and telling them exactly what's happening um, there has been cases now it's better than six years later where tuna and other fish have uh, excuse me that come up to the west coast have radiation in it. Um, there's uh, high levels of radiation in the Pacific Ocean, and that's that's pretty frightening. Um, you know, it's uh, you're looking at you know 300 tons of water every day being dumped in there. I mean, that's uh, that's crazy. So here's the other problem. You would say, well, you know, they probably got it better under control now than they did when it first happened. Well, this is going back to February of this year, so going back a couple of months. The, uh, there was 530 uh, servits per hour of radiation. Now, basically, to kind of put that into correlation, four servits of um, radiation will kill a handful of people. So you're talking at about 530 servits per hour coming out of that plant as of February of this year, six years past the event, higher radiation levels now than when it first happened in Hello Soxy. She had to be on video. Um, so you're having a, a tremendous amount of radiation, more so now than even back then. Uh, that's kind of frightening, guys. They had a machine that they sent in that was designed um, to stand high levels of radiation and they sent it in there to try to figure stuff out because they can't send people in there because it'll kill them pretty much instantly. Uh, the machine lasted an hour before it broke down and stopped. Uh, that's kind of frightening. I mean, that's, uh, you know, and that was designed to withstand very high levels of radiation. So it's, uh, you know, and the thing is, it's something that's not going to be fixed overnight. And they continue to dump, th and I'm going to say it again, 300 tons of radioactive water into the Pacific Ocean every day. I mean, it's, uh, that's frightening. That is absolutely frightening, you know. Um, I'm trying to remember something else here that I wanted to. Um, so right now, you have, on the west coast of America, you have Washington State, Oregon, California. They're all 
dealing with radioactive, you know, you have um, sea life like uh, whales and stuff beaching themselves on the beach, uh, problems with the sea otters, and uh, you know, all kinds of problems now in the west coast because of all that radiation. Now remember what I said, how long did they say it's going to take to fix this problem? 40 years, okay, and 300 million dollars. That's insane. Now we're talking about, now let's, let's put this down into perspective, okay. We're talking about one nuclear power plant. One. One plant. That's all we're talking about is one. How many are out there? How many are at risk? How many are dangerous? You know? That's scary. Now, you, everybody remembers the one that happened in the Soviet Union, and, or Russia now, as they're called. Um, they're, you know, it, it, it's frightening, guys. I mean, it's, um, you know, but this is, this is something that's actively happening every day that's actively affecting the marine life in the ocean. And, uh, you know, you're killing all this animal life in the Pacific Ocean right now to the point where 6,000 miles away... Oh, and I forgot to mention it also is affecting Hawaii. I don't want to forget Hawaii. That's also our state. But, uh, you know, it's going across that ocean 6,000 miles, and it's affecting the West Coast now. So if they're detecting... And right now on the West Coast, it's low levels of radiation right now. Okay. But the thing is, every day they're dumping 300 tons of radioactive water into the ocean. And I already talked about the levels there, like I said, you know, it's, uh, it's frightening. I mean, you know, this is something that happened six years ago. And, you know, the news really is not addressing it. They're not addressing what's going on. And, uh, you know, of course the government um, is not going to be forthwith and tell us exactly how bad things are, but when you have, you know, people detecting the radiation levels and stuff, and they're increased on the west coast now, that's very, very scary. And it's something to really think about, guys. Something really to think about. So I wanted to do a video on this. I mean, you know, people were telling me, doing Yellowstone, oh, Yellowstone could go off whenever, yada, yada, yada. Well, you know, that's true. But this is something that's pertinent to right now. This is something that's happening right now that needs to be dealt with. I mean, you know, if the governments of the world had to get together and help and, you know, and to do that, to get that scored away, I think they should do it. <laughs> Don't you? I mean, I would be kind of calling for that. It's, it's affecting the entire ocean. And, you know, you're talking about the Pacific Ocean. And, and, the, and that water is also traveling to other parts, you know, which will eventually affect the Atlantic Ocean and stuff like that, too. Now let's talk about something else here. That lovely can of tuna fish you're eating. I love tuna fish myself, okay? I mean, I really like tuna fish. And we're not ta even talking about everything else, um, you know, from your, uh, like, um, oh God, I'm, hold on, one second, I'm going blank, and it will come to me in a second. I love sushi, okay? Well, a lot of the stuff, like the seaweed and stuff like that, that they use to wrap sushi and all that type of stuff, and those fish and stuff like that, that's being affected as well. So, I mean, you know, it's going to affect everybody, uh, you know, and, and of course I'm sure that they're going to say that there are certain levels that are acceptable radiation levels that are okay to feed to us, you know, but uh, it's, it's, it's scary, guys. I mean, that's a frightening thing. And think about the fact that, you know, if you just went out and bought a bunch of tuna fish, which I'm, you know, people do it all the time, you know, where's that tuna fish coming from? You know, is that out in the Pacific Ocean? off the west coast and now again granted right now the radiation levels on the west coast are not that bad okay but they're still there and they're going to get worse because every day japan is dumping 300 tons and i'm going to keep saying that because it just it blows my mind 300 tons of radioactive water back into the ocean that is freaking scary and uh, with the levels, like I said, the levels as of February of this year, February 18th of this year, the levels were 530 servants per hour that was getting dumped into the ocean. You know, and like I said, four servants will kill a handful of people. So what do you think that's doing to the marine life, especially around Japan? I mean, I know that they're, they're really restricted now in certain areas over there. They can't fish at all. But uh, it's scary. Scary, scary stuff. And I, like I said, I'm not a gloom and doomer, guys. I'm not trying to be a gloom and doomer. I'm just trying to be honest and tell you the truth. It's something that I'm, I think a lot of people had forgotten about 
weren't thinking about okay and uh, so it's just sharing information um, I definitely want to hear your comments uh, I definitely want to hear your thoughts on the matter uh, please share um, and if you like the video you like what we're doing here on the channel you know please subscribe hit the little icon button of the kids and I and then hit the bell button so you can get you know the updates when we do up the next video but uh, something like I said I really wanted to share with you guys I thought it's important uh, it's something to definitely another thing to keep an eye on <laughs> you know what are the levels right now on the west coast they're not bad but what is not bad I think any level of radiation in our food uh, is not a good thing so I that's just my opinion but uh, something to think about guys um, like I said tell me your thoughts I definitely want to hear your feedback um, that's what it's all about is sharing of information and what you guys think of everything so uh, tell me what you think of that um, and like I said as I end all my videos I'm gonna say remember to hug and kiss the ones you love tell them every every day because tomorrow is not guaranteed we never know what's gonna happen and remember STD guys real easy one to remember everybody knows what STD is right well you're wrong STD is one step at a time one thing at a time and one day at a time it's not a sexually transmitted disease it's a good thing so STD can be a good thing too focus on your goals work towards them you can reach them and it's up to you the only person that's gonna hold you back is yourself nobody else is gonna do it okay so anyway I'm gonna end the video and I will talk to you guys all tomorrow prepper nurse went out for now I hope you enjoyed the video thank you